Welcome everybody to another tutorial. This is uh, a backed RBD simulation for uh, golden cone that being thrown into a wall and fall down. Quick setup and uh, straightforward in using it. All my scene file and example and tutorial are available on my Patreon, so you are welcome to join me there with a lot of uh, file scenes and uh, always up to date uh, example file and Houdini files on the other hand also I have it on my Gumroad page and you are welcome to browse through it and uh, choose whatever you like and uh, all the support is available and you are very much welcome of being supportive of me and also you are welcome to join my membership on YouTube with exclusive tutorial and uh, wish to see you over there so let's get started and browse through the Houdini file so this is the initial setup couple of cameras and lights and our scene is located here so I'll start with the imported geometry this is a tube that you can create or import put it in the proper size and it's 186 184 polygon I reduce it to 92 as you can see here from here to here because uh, it will be a lot of uh, coins so better to have less resolution and this is the material by it coin and as you can see here it's just a polygon so I back it you can back it in the computer one but I back it here and now I need the place or the area that will be the emitting place to start with so I created this box I scatter bones and in this point total of 350 points per frame so it's uh, changing every frame okay also I added a relaxation uh, iteration about to 10 so at least the cones when they start to be created or spawn to be at least uh, far away so each frame will have 350 coins it should be in an ATM machine like this uh, I didn't use this one so copy two points and I left them as is I didn't uh, change their uh, orientation because they will immediately hit the wall so I transform them to the proper place so they will be pointing toward the wall I give them initial velocity shown here let me remove this so this I cannot see the velocity V yeah this is the velocity so bond velocity uh, initially there is no velocity just here this is the parameter and here I'm adding a switch that after frame 30 the ATM machine will be empty so it will switch to null so if you play it and it disappears Boom. so each frame coins will be created and thrown to the wall now let's talk about this part quickly we started with a box that's being merged this is the first box this is the second box I created this step and I'm copying the size X Y and Z in the translate so I have uh, accurate representation of the stairs then transform it in a proper place and adding a couple of steps here that's being all merged together so this is my scene stage but 
this part is being included in the collision. The part I'm rendering is being merged here, then divided. Then I use the lab edge damage from side effects lab. So I have some broken edges. Let's wait for it till it calculates. Be, be aware about the voxel size. The lower it gets, because it's a VDB, the longer it will take time. So that's why I make it 0.1. So this is how it look, sort of. Look old. Nice, and you can play with the noise for better effect. So this one accompanied by the wall. I didn't break the wall. Uh, will be added to the render stage. Okay. So here some cement or uh, ground. Texture, and I save it so it don't uh, calculate every frame. I just cache it. Okay. This is with the lighting. And this, let's go to the last frame. And go here just to see. like a like, uh, coin being thrown in a castle or sort of uh, like a house of a dragon or lord of the ring very cool the golden shining and reflecting anyway let's continue let me revert back to previous go here go to the first frame remove remove and stay like this now let's go back so as you can recall let me remove this one also. Each frame we have new coin. So in the RBD solver, the setup, I activate emit RBD every frame. Okay? Nothing inside. And if you want to control this emitting, you can do like uh, the thing that we did it here. You add it here for the geometry and the proxy and uh, you can switch alternate or uh, uh, the module so every five frame it will activate every five frame it will activate this is how you can control it here i give it very little bouncing and the collision nothing changed here because it's not moving some drag and drag spin uh, for the coins so they stop they don't just bounce everywhere and after that I, I catch the back so these are backed primitive where is it back so to texture them let's have a play and see some of them they uh, jump to the other side I should delete but I didn't delete how they look money being thrown everywhere they are sliding also very cool then I unback and I catch the unback I apply the material and merge everything together See, this one will be slower. So if I go to the last, sorry, last frame, let's go to the first frame. We are talking about 1 million bonds. Last frame, let it load from the cache. 1.9 million. And I used Karma for the render output. And this is the result with some depth of field as you can see so at the end if you like this setup or you want to build on it it's available on my patreon and gumroad 
it will be very nice and uh, very much appreciated to have your support over there also thank you very much and have a nice day